Welcome back to the Pipe Squatch channel. And today I am going to do a review. And today I'm going to do a review of something I've been wanting to try for a while. Y'all know I found that big bag of Esoterica Pembroke and I loved it. But the one I really wanted to try was Penzance. Well, I ordered a pipe from Dragon Briars. Uh, it is Joshua Ronish. I believe he's out of Connecticut, if I'm not mistaken. But he's a really great guy. He has a really cool Instagram page. If you go to tat, T-A-T, the number two, J-A-W-S-H underscore dragon underscore Briars. Uh, I'll just put it right here. That's a lot to remember. But Tattoo Josh Dragon Briars. <clears throat> You'll be able to find it if you want to buy one of his pipes. You can also go to his Etsy shop and just look up Dragon Briars, all one world. world, world? We're all one world all one word and you'll be able to find them on there he makes outstanding outstanding pipes the stem work he does you can see why do i keep doing this why don't i just go to this so the stem work he does is just unreal the artistry that goes into it, it's got a little copper uh, ring on it it's kind of dyed red. I don't want to dump out what I have in there so you can see the dragon, but it's got dragon briars, J. Ronish 2016. Uh, really, really amazing stuff. If you go to his Instagram, you'll be able to see it on there. Um, and what I'm going to be reviewing, you see it all around here because he was nice enough to send me some pen MFing Zants from 2014. And the reason doesn't look like he's in a lot. He actually did. He said he was very generous with it. I've just smoked two bowls already. <laughs> yeah, it is one of those tobaccos that, like Esoterica Pembroke, you can't get a lot of. You know when you get a really well-aged cigar, um, like the Padron Anniversary Series 1964, it's got like little crystals in it. This Penzance had that. Not a lot, but it just seemed... Oh gosh, oh. and the smell of it right out of the bag is unbelievable, unbelievable. The first light I took of this, wow. Okay, that wasn't a great reenactment of what I did because I was in the truck and I almost had a wreck because of it. It was amazing. If you like English, this is really good. This is one of those blends that is blended awesomely. It's got that little, like in the other video I did, it's got those scales in my mouth saying, hey, everything's balanced. But this stuff is really good. The Latakia in there is not too much. It's not too little. It's just an outstanding smoke. Now, it is hard to get, and I believe it was him that told me it may have been uh, Chris Morgan with Morgan Pipes. That one that's close is GLP's Quiet Nights. I have done a comparison, side by side. They taste, flavor-wise, very much the same. So if you want to try it, get some P GLP's Quiet Nights, and you're gonna get a general idea of this. The difference is the Penzance seems a little smoother and that might be all in my head. That might be something that is a placebo effect as well. It's just cause it's so hyped, I think it's smoother uh, and it's so hard to get where this isn't. I can get this pretty easily on smokingpipes.com. I, it's, it's, yeah, it's not the placebo, it's outstanding. And the pipe from Dragon Briars is one of the smoothest smoking pipes I have. So now we are down up to five American made companies and all five have knocked it out of the park when it comes to their pipes. And I want to give a shout out to Bryce Parker too, because I never would have known about Josh and Dragon Briars if I wouldn't have seen his little American flag stem pipe that he got. Really cool, blew me away, and uh, 
ended up getting this from Dragon Briars too. So make sure you check him out on Instagram, Tattoo Joush Dragon Briars, or go to his Etsy shop, Dragon Briars, and check out his pipes. They are amazing. But uh, Penzance wise, I can't make it a part of my regular rotation because you can't find it. If I could find it, I would make it part of my regular rotation. Once again, Esoterica, the 22 long rifle of the tobacco world. I wish I could find the Penzance. It is really, really good. It's, I, it's better than the Pembroke, the other Esoterica I did a review on. I honestly can say that, this, this is better. But I am very, very satisfied to use Quiet Nights in replacement. In fact, I'm going to age some of this too to see if it ends up being as smooth as Penzance. Because flavor-wise, it's dead on. It's exactly the same. It's just the Penzance seems smoother. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Nothing I say makes sense, does it? Yeah, I beat you to it. So if you can find some Penzance, go out and get some. You can find Dragon Briars, and I would get one of his pipes. They're really nice. Uh, he's, I think he's taken a little hiatus. He had uh, uh, surgery on his neck, so he had to, he's going to hold off for a little bit, but I think he has some on his Etsy, Etsy shop still available for sale. Between him with the neck surgery, Lonnie and his question about the back surgery, I have some back issues from a previous injury. And a lot of my issues now, and I'm going to get kind of serious. Yeah, I know. It's weird to see me get serious. But a lot of my injuries and the pain I have from my back now are my own fault. If you can't tell, I'm a big guy. Uh, I'm not just a big guy in height. I'm 6'7". I'm a big guy in weight, too. I'm 300 pounds. And that's not good for my body. My knees, my hips, my back especially, my internal organs and i'm gonna make a commitment here on this video publicly to all of my over 200 subscribers now which thank you so much uh to hit 200 subscribers as quick as i did i'm i'm incredibly fortunate and and thank every one of you but i'm making a commitment in front of everybody that watches this video i'm gonna get right i'm gonna start exercising more i'm going to prove to people that are outside of the pipe community that you can have good fitness and exercise and smoke a pipe. I'm not inhaling it. It's not damaging my lungs like if I was hoping, uh, smoking a cigarette. But I wanna prove that yeah, you can get in shape and do a lot of uh, physical fitness and still smoke a pipe and enjoy it. And I'm not saying that without trying because I have in the last week started doing some cardio and this hasn't affected it at all. In fact, for some reason, this has affected it less than when I was dipping because the dipping really affected my cardio and desire to do it too. But I figure if I make this public commitment, then it will motivate me more because now I have people who saw this that are going to be going, hey, doesn't look like you're doing much. Looks like you've gone up a little bit in the weight. But I want y'all to see me go down in the weight and I want to prove that point that I just said. So yeah, commitment there. Don't forget, I've got the giveaway going on. Send me a VR, do a VR on what book you're reading, what books you all would like to read, what books you'd like for me to have a discussion talking about, uh, TV shows you like, and movies too. Uh, just shoot that out there and I can do reviews on them. We can just talk about them or I can just go, wow, that sounds like it's awesome and I go watch it too. Dragon Briars, Esoterica, Penzance, if you can find it. Until the next video, y'all keep your pipes loaded. Hold down, a lot of spies, and enjoy your life. See ya.